Hello guys, I'm Aditya from Taking Set and today I'm going to show you how to flash AICP, new AICP ROM which is based on Oat for Lady Believers and a short review of it. Let's get started. <music> First of all, you have to download the ROM. The ROM, the ROM download link will be given in the description. I will give the XDA link so that if there are any updates, you can see from there. After downloading it, keep it in your internal internal storage. And after keeping it in your internal storage, reboot into recovery mode. Your TWRP recovery version should be three latest version three. After putting in two TWRP recovery, first take a backup of your current ROM. If anything goes wrong, you can always restore it from here. I will recommend you to take a backup before flashing this room I already took backup so I don't take it now and after taking backup go to wipe and go to advanced wipe select Dalvin cache system cache data accept internal storage select all these things and swipe to wipe After wipe is completed, go back, back, and go to install and locate the ROM file which you are downloaded. Here is the ROM file AICPX3. Select the ROM and swipe to confirm flash. After the flash is completed, go back and you have to install G apps and download G apps version ARM64 7.1 and after the ROM is flashed flash G apps select it and swipe to confirm flash after G apps are flashed go back if you want uh, if you want root for this ROM, you have to install super issue zip file. I will give the download link in the description. Select the super issue file and swipe to confirm flash. This will enable the root in this ROM, in any ROM. After super issue is flashed, just click reboot system. If it reboots twice, don't worry because it reboots twice because we flash super issue. Any ROM, if we flash super issue, it will reboot two times. Don't worry if it reboot two times. This is the boot animation of this ROM. It's basic Android boot animation. Nothing crazy about boot animation let's see inside what it will be I am going to play with this ROM for some time and I will come back guys I have set it up and first thing I noticed is the status bar it has more tiles than usual and second thing is AICP extras to customize your device there are lots of customizations super SU indicator if any app is using super SU if any app is using root it is going to indicate here on status bar and battery bar is also there battery bar and it shows battery percentage ACP logo you can enable and disable ACP logo quick settings 
brightness slider you are going if you turn off this you are not going to see brightness slider on instead bar if you enable this it is going to see and and lock screen you can hide status bar in lock screen by enabling this and double tap double tap to sleep lock screen if you double tap on double tap and lock on lock screen it's going to sleep and fingerprint unlock unlock device with fingerprint after reboot without in a pattern if you reboot your phone and if you unlock it for the first time with fingerprint it is not going to unlock it asks for pin pattern whatever it is and if you enable this it will not ask you for pin anymore touch and power button long press this is very useful feature if your phone if your phone is locked and if you long press the power button it is going to turn on flashlight and if you short press it again and it is going to turn off it is very useful feature and next thing recent panel in recent panel all these are all nothing much to talk about in this whether it's for animations you can change animations i am going to keep it default blur ui blur recent background you can see it is blurring the recent background and various shift screenshot type you can take full screen full screen screenshot or you can drag and select the area i will show you when you take the screenshot it is going to blur dim it on and if you select some area it is going to take third part only and you can see it has taken only the selected part thing we are going to see is navigation navigation bar you can enable and disable navigation bar navigation mode fling is also there fling navigation is also there and next in display ambient display is there you can override default let's see if it works battery it says 3 hours left i have 80% 81% battery left and gestures gestures is on quickly jump to camera if you double tap if you double tap power button when the device is locked you are going to open camera quick what happened it's vibrating but not going oh. here yeah. camera is also fine and next buttons you can change the button action long press action double tap action you can change it and in buttons under the music it is accidental touch it is going to prevent interaction with navigation buttons while the screen is being touched and pocket detection block screen and buttons inputs when device is in pocket when device is in pocket it is going to block all the accidental touch it is in hefty feature and in status bar you can change clock position 
am pm style date and date style date position date format and you can also change font and you can also change font size and battery indicator you can change it from tha battery it is in and solid solid battery icon circle and battery percentage you can change battery percentage and security fingerprints i have set two fingerprints i will show you now fingerprint who is working super fine no issues in there and that's all google assistant is also there i have set it let me show you okay google Google Assistant is also there, and now we are going to talk about bugs. There are only few bugs. The first bug is in camera, and that is HDR mode. HDR mode is not working. As you can see, I have turned on HDR mode, and if I click a picture, it is going to freeze. second bug is youtube 60 frames per second video freeze freezes and an ftp video also freezes and those are the two bugs not much bug not very much bugs and battery backup i think battery backup is also good and if you have twrp recovery and if you want to try something new I recommend you to try try this form. It has all the features you want, and it's also smooth. Guys, if you have any questions and any doubts about anything, feel free to comment down below, and I will definitely reply to those comments. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe because more awesome videos are going to come. If you want to see more videos about Elevenness, then don't forget to subscribe.